In this video, we'll be using the Elden blood typing kit to determine my blood type. For background, let's talk about what is a blood type and how it can be determined. There are four major blood groups based on the presence or absence of proteins called antigens that are on the surface of your red blood cells. So whether or not you have the A or B antigens, as well as a protein called the RH factor, which can be either present or absent, creating the eight most common blood types. A positive, A negative, B pos, B neg, O pos, O neg, AB pos, and AB neg. This blood type is genetic and is passed down from your parents. So your blood type will be based on the blood types of your mother and father. If you want to determine a blood type with the Elden card, the manufacturer suggests that you can use this kit on individuals ages 12 months and up. So this test that we will do today is performed by dissolving colored reagent circles with a drop of water and mixing it with my blood. Um, the Elden sticks that are in this kit to transfer blood to each circle on the card and then we will tilt the card to complete the test. So what comes in the kit is the Elden card, one lancet, alcohol swab, the Elden sticks, one pipette, I don't know what this is, and our instructions and interpretations on the back. So let's get started. So I have separated the Elden sticks. The next step is to take water and hold the pipette vertically and one drop of water onto each circle without touching the circle. Take the lancet and Twist the yellow protective cap. Okay. Next, I will clean my finger. And I will let this dry. And I will take this lancet and I'm going to press it into my finger. I'm trying to be careful to go on the side. You can see and not like directly on the surface of my finger, but on the side of it. Ow. Okay. <laughs> Massage finger to increase blood flow. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yo, my blood going crazy. Okay, time to let it fall onto this. And I will put it onto the first one. It's one. Oh my gosh. Two. <laughs> Have to be fast. Three. And then lastly, four. Done with these sticks now. We are ready to tilt the card for the results. Oh, that's not good. Okay, so I'm gonna tilt this card like this. Of course my camera dies, but I was just tilting the card as the last step and my car had been dried up now that I was waiting on this battery to charge up on this camera. But um, based on my results, which I will include a picture, I am group O blood type with the RH factor, so I am O positive. I do not carry the A or B antigens on my red cells, so I would not be able to receive any blood from group A, group B, or group AB. I would be a candidate for receiving group O blood that is either RH positive or negative. Type O positive blood is found frequently in about 37% of the population according to American Red Cross. But type O neg is only present in about 7%, which O neg is the universal blood donor because it lacks the A, B, and RH antigens on the surface of the red cell. 
So it's the first blood used in emergencies, especially if we don't know what the patient's blood type is at the time of the emergency. So I decided to do this video out of awareness for World Blood Donor Day, which is on June 14th of this year in 2022. And so I will just conclude the video with talking about some more information on blood types and what that means for us in the medical laboratory and transfusion medicine. So yeah, why should you know your blood type? Matching compatible blood types is important for blood transfusions. According to American Red Cross, 4.6 million Americans receive a transfusion each year in the United States alone. Transfusions are needed for many reasons, and just to name a few, like serious injuries and traumas, pregnant mothers experiencing labor difficulties, cancer fighters, and premature babies. So yeah, just in general, knowing which blood types are compatible with you are important if you ever need a transfusion or if you might want to help those in need of your own blood type by donating your own blood. So how do we test your blood type in blood bank? So in the hospital laboratory, I work as a blood banker. The foundation of my job in this department is determining the patient's blood type so that I can get compatible units of blood products. So in the laboratory, I spin down a blood sample to separate the red cells from the plasma so that I can perform a test called ABORH typing. The first step is called forward typing. This is mixing your blood, so the red cells, with reagent antibodies called anti-A, anti-B, and anti-D, which is pretty much the same concept that uh, you saw on the Elden card. It's just we have liquid reagents. We don't do them on cards, basically. <laughs> First step is mixing your red cells with these reagent antibodies to see if your cells react. So if the blood cells clump together, it means the blood is positive for that antigen type. Based on the results of the reactions, I can then determine the patient's specific blood type, in addition to doing the reverse typing, which is the second part of this test. Reverse typing or back typing is when we take the plasma and mix it with reagent blood cells called A1 and B cells. So the reaction that we are looking for this time is if there are any antibodies in your plasma. This reaction will cause the reagent red cells to clump together. So the forward and reverse typing are done to accurately determine your blood type by making sure that your red cells also match your plasma as far as typing goes, <laughs> if that makes sense. So yeah, these are the first steps that we do in as far as getting a patient's blood type before we can go forward with matching a compatible unit of blood for a safe transfusion. The right blood transfusion can mean the difference between life and death. Like seriously. <laughs> Guess I'm about to abruptly end this video, but I do appreciate you guys watching. And if you would like more information on World Blood Donor Day, definitely check out my description box below. If you have any ideas of at-home tests, please put them in the comments below because I'm always up for trying something new, especially if it means I can stay in the comfort of my own home. So again, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Ha <laughs>